now that everything is out there, well, if D ain't saying nothing, it must not be true. Man, listen, if you think that, you're fucking, you're fucking, you're fucking brain dead. Mm-hmm. Fucking brain dead. Because when he come out and speak and he clarify the same shit I just told you, you're going to be looking stupid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're going to be looking stupid, man. So we just, you know, got, we already got repeated hit history. Of course, we already know the slogan that history repeats itself. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So uh, let's not act like shit cannot happen. You know what I mean? Right. So that shit crazy. It, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this. And I, and I like I, I spoke with bro before. Like bro said. Now, what a lot of people don't know is how he looked after the fight. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that. Now, if, and I'm quite sure there's a lot of fighters watching this too. Now, as a black man, I know when we're punched, we swell over time. Mm-hmm. We swell over time. Well, how is it that, of course, he swelled, but even after the fight, he had these keloid sized knots from the top of his head all the way down his fucking spine. And I'm glad you said that. And, and my thing is, my thing is this. My thing is this. How? When the fuck? When the fuck have boxing gloves ever did that to somebody? And I'm glad. I'm glad you stay, stay right there. And they got keloid sized knots in his head. And I'm glad you said that. Stay right how there. How do you get a scratch? On, how do you get a How do you get a, a cut on the back of your head? On the back of your head? How do you get a cut on the inside? I, I mean, that's that's cr- that's that's crazy, man. How do? How? It ain't just not just keloid size knots, man. You know what I mean? And that, that shit just that shit just baffling, bro. Let alone a, 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 a fucking dent. Like I say, you know, like I was telling you about, you know, he's getting his haircut, you know what I'm saying? Dude spent them all the way around. And just to see, just to see how it wasn't in to now. Right. Man, that's disgusting, man. And you, ain't nobody finna sit here and tell me how he fucking fisted that. I don't give right. a fuck about no 270 pound, 73 pound, 19 uh, stone shit. Man, that shit, man, that shit ain't impressive. Right. Just that you pay talk. I don't talk like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Man, big, man, big, that. That's bullshit, bro. That's bullshit, big, bro. Big dose, big dose five. It's, it's, it's hard, bro, listen. As hard as D hit, have you seen this man dent somebody fucking skull? Right. Is, is Dominic Brazil skull dented? Hell no. He's in the in front. Skull, in the front. None of them. That right. It's crazy, man. Because at the end of the day, man, I, and I, I'm, I'm talking about all fighters right now. I wouldn't wish that shit upon nobody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we've all, we've already lost what we lost what three 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 fighters. I think one of the kids died before a week before I fought last year. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We lost about three four fighters last year. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody family to go through that shit, man. You know what I mean? It's, right. It's, it's, now, especially when a motherfucker could be on the even uh, even playing field. Mm-hmm. Now, just imagine if goddamn if D had his fucking no pad in his glove. I was just getting ready to get to that, right? Because no, I was going to say, if he had no, no, no pattern in his I was, I was just getting ready to say that. So now, for everybody that says and they say that, uh, and salute to the African sci-fi, sci-fi scholar in the super chat said, "Great work, Blue. The truth shall reveal." No doubt. Pretty words are not always true, and true words are not always pretty. That's why the truth hurts. Which is pretty much the case for Tyson Fury fans. They just can't handle the truth. Therefore, Tyson Fury and his team could disconnect the wires to the camera in Tyson Fury's dressing room to no prevail because whatever is done in the dark will eventually come to light. The truth will always come out. Tyson Fury and his team could pay photographers money in order to take photos down to no avail because you can never ever contain the truth. Matter of fact, Tyson Fury put more gasoline on fire instead of pouring water. I tell my eye keys all of the time. If you're trying to stop the truth from getting to its destination is equivalent of a man trying to stop the wave of the ocean. The truth is like the wave of the ocean. You can never stop the truth from getting to its destination. It's God's plan. Now, as you all heard Tay Jones, a member of Deontay Wilder team, 
he stated that Deontay Wilder had keloid size knots on his head. Say what? Deontay Wilder had keloid size knots on his head. That's not physically possible for 10 ounce heavyweight gloves to cause that type of damage. Especially coming from Tyson Fury, a known pillow fisted puncher. You could ask all of his opponents that. In the sport of boxing, one thing for sure about power, you either born with it or you're not. There's no such thing as training to gain power. You either have it or you don't. Throughout Tyson Fury boxing career, he never showed that type of power. Even the most powerful puncher in the game, Deontay Wilder. His right hand is nearly a hammer. He never put a dent in somebody's head. Wilder has the most vicious KO catalog than any fighter in the game. And he never put a dent in someone's skull. It's physically impossible with 10 ounce heavyweight gloves on. One thing we can never ever dispute or debate is Deontay Wilder having more power than Tyson Fury. Then explain to me, how is Tyson Fury putting dents in people's heads, meanwhile Deontay Wilder is not? The obvious answer, Tyson Fury gloves have been tampered with. Tyson Fury gloves were definitely loaded. And after this picture surfaced, you all looking at, thanks to Boxing Ego, shout out to Boxing Ego, he's a new media partner. This is further proof that Tyson Fury gloves were clearly tampered with. This is not up for debate, ladies and gentlemen. See, the same people defending Tyson Fury at this point are the same people justifying the cop murdering George Floyd when he was handcuffed. These are the same people. All of the decafs, the corrupted media, and many more are showing their true colors. They simply coming out of the closet. This is not up for debate. At this point, what we should be debating is, did Tyson Fury tamper with his glove by removing glove padding at the knuckle area? Or did Tyson Fury load up the glove by placing an object inside of the glove? Or all of the above? That's what really should be up for debate. There is no argument when the facts are laid out. There's only agreement. Why would you argue with someone if they telling you how they feel emotionally. Facts over emotion any given day of the week. Facts will always trump any opinion any given day of the week. In the court of law, when you present evidence, that trumps trolling and excuses. Evidence is what matters in the court of law. So this is pretty much case closed. There is nothing up for debate. This picture tells it all. When have you ever seen a glove that's dented in two different places on the knuckle area? What makes matter worse, Tyson Fury right glove is also curved in. His right hand is caved in and wrinkled on the knuckle area. So there is no telling if Tyson Fury had an object inside of his right glove the way the doctor suggested or if Tyson Fury was pretty much punching bare knuckle after removing the glove padding from the knuckle area on his right hand. Nevertheless, one thing we do know, he definitely cheated. Without any questions, this have to be very devastating for old media. They trying their best to cover up for Tyson Fury. They ran out of ideas, trying to hide the truth. At first they ignore the truth, then they started deflecting, that didn't work, so they started claiming the photos were photoshopped. Which, by doing so, they admitted there was something wrong with Tyson Fury right glove. So, if the photos weren't photoshopped, then Tyson Fury definitely cheated. They pretty much told on themselves. Because when the photos turn out to be real, then they paid the photographer money to take the photos down. However, you could never ever hide the truth and stop it from spreading. Old media trying to establish damage control. 
However, what they don't realize, we still have the photos. So they simply gave us another topic to talk about and expose them even further. Therefore, old media is getting desperate by the day, which causing them to make more mistakes. They even utilized their trump card, the WBC president. He came out and made a fool out of himself on camera, lying through his teeth. After he got exposed, he reached out to Deontay Wilder in order to establish damage control. However, they then effed up with the wrong one. Wilder is not a follower. He a leader. He knows fighters on the coincidental list been getting mistreated to this day. And he a prime example. They treating him like the George Floyd of boxing. They pretty much sacrificed him to make a Rocky Balboa in real life. The WBC had the audacity to reach out to Deontay Wilder in order to sun him for stating he want to catch a body. On the other hand, they turn around and condone a cheater when he attempted murder and we got it all on tape. The audacity by the World Boxing Corruption Organization shows they have zero integrity and no honor. Old media wants to make the Glove Gate 2.0 die out. However, the more we wait, the more evidence that keep popping up, exposing Tyson Fury further. There is so much evidence and so many fighters that keep coming out, speaking on Tyson Fury tampered gloves that I can't even keep up with the news. Just yesterday, Anthony Durrell came out reacting to Tyson Fury tampered gloves where he stated, if they look like that new, every boxer will use them. Stop it. Them was tampered with. This is not coming from your average Joe. This is a two-time former world champion talking. He has more credentials than any one of you decafs slash old media. I mean, the crazy part about it, Tyson Fury even told on himself that he was going to tamper with his gloves, just not directly. Fury stated before the fight, I'm going to dip my hands in gasoline and turning them on fire fight night, which is ironically exactly what he did. That's the only way Tyson Fury was capable of damaging Deontay Wilder to this extent. Tyson Fury put Keloy size knots on Deontay Wilder's head. Tyson Fury also put a dent in Deontay Wilder's skull. He pretty much broke the law of science. Human knuckles will most likely break before denting someone's skull, which is furthermore proof that Tyson Fury cheated. Men lie, women lie, science don't lie. So if you're not talking facts, then you're not talking our key language. We don't know what you saying because you just talking a bunch of rubbish. You just a waste of time. Furthermore, the moral of the story, Tyson Fury definitely cheated. There is no but what if about it. However, thanks to Tyson Fury Hope Insurance, that's better than Geico, which has benefits that you can't even imagine, such as erasing losses, erasing fighters' track record, even if they cheated, even if they took steroids, whatever it is, they got your need. They got your back. They will cover everything. They doing their best in order to establish damage control. Regardless of all the fighters that came out speaking on the matter, cosigning the fact that Tyson Fury cheated. Regardless of all the evidence, regardless of all the victims, regardless of Tyson Fury attempted murder, regardless of the corrupted commission that allowed fighters in the past to cheat without successfully catching even one. Not Margarito, not Luis Resto, not Trinidad, not Maidana. Which makes you believe either they in it or they simply don't care about fighters' life and safety. Which is what's wrong in the sport of boxing. However, you must believe if it was Deontay Wilder who cheated, he will be doing 25 to life as we speak. Because he's on the coincidentalist. 
However, thanks to Tyson Fury, hopeless benefits, they won't even investigate him. This is mind boggling. This is offensive on so many levels, especially post George Floyd incident. With that being stated, make sure you all join me this Sunday on Split Decision. It's a boxing debate slash talk show where I'm going to expose the WBC, the Nevada State Commission, and the boxing corruption slash old media even further. And last but not least, Tyson Fury. You best believe he's going to get this work on some loaded Lux work. Also, shout out to Blue Blood Sport TV. Shout out to my Aki Blue. Make sure you all watch his interview he had with Tay Jones where they drop jewels and expose Tyson Fury even further. I highly encourage you all to watch the full interview that I'm gonna leave the link for in the comment section below. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't. And listen to these decafs, AKA dumb casual ass fans slash old media that don't know shit about boxing. Word to Roger Mayweather, may he rest in peace. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell if you want to be part of the Aki Brotherhood, the Boxing Hood. And if you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post or go live on Split Decision. Is a boxing debate slash talk show mixed master engineer produced by yours truly, Aki. The past, present, and future undisputed pound for pound number one when it comes to debating. I got all these decaf shook. They scared to look when our key is on TV unless it's bad news. However, I got bad news for you, decafs. I got more proofs proving Tyson Fury cheated. So subscribe, click on the notification bell. Quit treating me like the Iron Mike Tyson of debate in the most fear with a record of 500 plus with 500 KOs. Easy work. So to all of the keyboard warriors in the comment section, grow some cojones and call in. This is directed to all of the decafs. If I had a lower IQ, I could have possibly enjoyed the debates. And to all of my IQs, I appreciate every single one of you. Call in. Always great talking with y'all. Subscribe and click on the notification bell if you want to be an IQ of mine. This is the Boxing Brotherhood. This is the Boxing Hood. And to be continued on the next episode of IQ, IQ TV. Peace and we out of here.